before I start, um, I'd like to acknowledge that we're, in, we're on stolen indigenous lands. Um, secondly, my poems are not for white people. Um, but like I said, um, our poems will always be for black and brown folk, for brown folk, for Chicanx folk, for anyone who identifies within my poetry, for queer black and brown folk. Um, uh, also, a quick statement. Um, if you are not black, and if you're a non-black queer person, if you're Chicanx Latinx, uh, remember that allyship is made up and consists of reparations. So put your money into their pockets. Hey. Um, so, <laughs> um, so this first poem um, is going to be like a quick short intro before I do one called For My Brown Sisters. Um, so it's in a series called Letters to Chicano Men. Um, and this one, um, so just so you know, the word spina is a thorn on an opal. Um, just so you know. To all the Franciscos in my life, my mom would always tell me she knew I was going to be strange, not like other little brown girls lanyard in one hand, but let in the other. Like a band bobbed hybrid when I was a baby and a fell in my face. Spina slipping into pores, growing up my father would throw my heart around, slapping it with butch, dyke, and gordita. With every shifting of my spirit, Pancho Francisco III, Franciscos like Spinas finding ways into piercing themselves into my audacity of self-worth, forever scars mistaken for pores, like almost as if they belong there, like as like sc scars and pores, almost as if like all the hardworking men in our community work and pick and build and mow and bury Spinas into my existence. Um, so that's it. Okay, so now there's one that you're probably like, hmm. um, <laughs> This is called for my brown sisters. Yeah. 